When you're trying to learn about something or looking for advice, where do you go? For most of us, going back to the classroom really isn't an option. One source might be watching the news. Some people prefer reading to learn, but it seems like that's becoming less and less common. And with the advent of the worldwide internet web and development of computers and mobile devices, I'm seeing more and more people get their real life advice from this source. And to be clear, I'm not knocking it. There's a lot of good information out there to be had. In fact, I've learned how to repair and use a power washer. Also, how to dismantle and remantle a pool table. However, I do have an issue when it comes to the kind of advice that should be personal and professional. There may be good general health information out there, but when it comes to your actual personal situation, you probably want to see a physician, and if it really gets detailed, they can recommend you to a specialist. Same thing might go for um, legal advice. Do you have a, need a will or a trust? That's something you really need an attorney to explain. And to take that one step further and why I'm doing this video, I would say the same applies to your financial advice and your specific retirement plan. There's nobody like you. They don't have the same amount of money. They don't have the same dreams. They're not at the same age. They don't have the same situation for assets or taxes or income needs or uh, desires to leave money to your children or to charities. So there's an awful lot there to consider that I have not yet found one article or one webinar that would address all the needs that would fit one person specifically. So I would strongly recommend when it comes to you and your financial future, your family's future, just as you would for your health or for your legal advice, to seek the advice of a financial professional, someone you trust, someone who's a good fit, and someone who can take care of you and be with you on that journey.